Getting started with Pika is a breeze. All you need to do is navigate to their official website at pika.art. On the homepage, you'll find an option to log in. Conveniently, Pika allows you to sign in using either your Google account or your Discord account, a quick and efficient process that gets you started almost immediately. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll be greeted by the user-friendly Pika 1.0 dashboard. Within this dashboard, you will find a variety of features that allow for a flexible and personalized experience. One of the first things you'll notice is the Explore page. This tab showcases a collection of videos created by other users, making it a great resource for inspiration and practical examples of what the platform is capable of. You also have My Library tab, where you'll be able to view, manage, and keep track of all your videos. When I was testing out the service, for instance, I created and stored several videos, all of which are readily available for me to revisit or re-edit in my library. However, the most vital part of the dashboard that you'll be interacting with is the prompt bar. Situated at the bottom of the page and labeled as Describe Your Story, this is your main tool for inputting text prompts. These prompts serve as instructions or guidelines for Pika, telling it exactly what kind of video you want to be generated. The process of generating a video based on your prompt is quite simple. All you need to do is either hit enter or click on the star icon after typing in your prompt. Pika will then take your instructions and start the process of creating your customized video.